Three News, your home for the holidays. Yes, it most certainly is. It is time for our Home for the Holidays series. This is a look at how some beloved places are celebrating Circle Fest this year at University Circle. And today we're going to take you to the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, one of my favorite places where there's <laughs> focus on some special animals, not reindeer, but these animals have great stories. And don't forget about the 70 foot long dinosaur named Happy. <laughs> The museum plans on celebrating the holidays this year a little differently. A lot of our programming is going to be virtual. My name is Allison Grazia, and I am the manager of public engagement at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. One of our newest digital offerings is our discovery programming. Some of our upcoming topics are going to include discussions with local breweries on fermentation, as well as fire ecology, which is actually really important here to a lot of land within Northeast Ohio. Conservation can start right here in your own backyard. Hello, my name is Del. I'm one of the biologists here at the Wildlife Rescue Exhibit, the newest touring exhibit here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. This particular live animal exhibit focuses on conservation and rescue stories in the wild. Animals that have been pulled back from the brink of extinction. We get to meet a ton of animals, including our boa constrictor here. We obviously have a ton of space to properly socially distance people. All of the interactive components of the exhibit, we are doing touch free. This exhibit, is here for about the next seven months, so well into 2021. If you follow us on social media, we're gonna be posting pictures, doing live feeds. There are a lot of ways you can interact with us without actually physically stepping through the doors. Happy the Helper is our unofficial yet official mascot that we have for our Happy for the Holidays campaign. Happy is our Haplocanthosaurus Delphi. What we want is to encourage kids to write digital letters to Happy, telling them about what their hopes and dreams are for the future and for the museum. And then they will receive a letter back in the mail after the holidays from Happy himself. We want to see what our community is hoping for for the future, for the next 100 years for the museum. We feel like it totally embraces the museum's mission to explore, engage, and empower for a better tomorrow. Wow. Love that place. And Cleveland is the first stop for that wildlife rescue exhibit. The Cleveland Museum of Natural History is open with limited hours Friday through Sunday. You want to check out their website, though. They do have some uh, restrictions, of course, and they say you're welcome to come and safely enjoy the museum. Awesome place to take the kids. And you learn something, too, every time you go. At least I do. I yeah. just I love it. I love wildlife is just excellent. Anything, it's zoos. Anytime you get a chance to see animals up close, um, I think that's you know a, a pretty fun and unique opportunity. And we're all looking for things to do, right? yeah. you know. And this is a, that's always a great way to spend the afternoon. Plan really ahead is. is a really good way to do it. And yeah. Jay, I will tell you, they do have some of your very most favorite animals there. You know what I'm talking about. Well, my the, favorite animal would be dog. Oh, the squirrels, of course. Oh, no, I don't need to see any more squirrels. I do. I, I do not yeah, need to see any more squirrels. I know how much you love those. 